Hello! I recorded this, but I was the level of it. The volume level was too high. This is a Harley Benton T52. It is the basic take of a Harley Benton on Telecaster. And as you see, it's very, very. <coughs> it's like by the Scotch Black Pickguard instrument. I upgraded with bronze saddle always by uh, Thoman, I don't remember if they're Harley Benton, anyway strings are um, I think they are rock and roll these are my favorite strings by Ernie Bow Echo Solid State Amp basic down to earth with the basement and some equalization rather than just one knob what I do is I then I so I can manage the volume Halfway the bolt the um, tone. Yes, it has some gain. And reverb. sound of this guitar considering I paid 200 120 now it's co cost a little bit more but it's a really and I use this okay. uh,
my carriage is to sleep. It was a little harsh, strident, so I turned down the volume and the tone. But this is the the classical. T stands obviously for Telecaster 52, the model, the year of the original Fender. Fender. I don't want to berate Fender just because I like uh, Harry Benton. Uh, I like Mr. Fender rather than Brent Fender. Um, so the instrument is, I think, is three or four pieces. Uh, this part they are perfectly marched here you can see the passage I upgrade it with phosphor, phosphor bronze uh, saddles these are um, rock and roll by uh, I think they are 10th 10th by 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 Blackbird no by Ernie Bow I'm using a strapping strap made by me and it's all leather real leather so it would be quite expensive expensive if I had to buy it um, I use carabiners here to tie it on uh, okay the instrument is a workhorse for the working class player or you know a knockabout instrument when you don't trust to bring with you with yourself your original Fender instrument this is in the like a more or less like a Vintage bonified or classic vibe Squire, they're much more expensive. I have Squires. I usually buy them second hand, but anyway. <laughs> write home about it would be a good upgrade to replace the tuners but you know 130 now I played 120 but it's for the rest It's a good instrument for the price, 
but also generally speaking if you don't have to record professionally and you touring around and when you don't want uh, and uh, you're paid a little money in pubs and you know this is don't be misled by the fact that it's quite a uh, cheapy the the price tag doesn't match the the quality quality is that means the other guitars are overpriced i don't know but you see it's a resonant i don't love you right by the way i played a song in two keys in a and c is the original key it seems to work in a different way but equally well in the key of C depends on your <coughs> voice how low you can go in the morning I have this voice I would never play this song in that key in the afternoon it doesn't So, uh, next song, because I have a, a lot of songs that I have to brush up on by Ernest Tubb, and this is an Ernest Tubb book I made, I made, copied, by Owens and Lefty Frizzell. Well, some people don't know classic uh, country. I just I play only just I only play just classic country. I don't like pop country. I don't like pop, and I don't know. Anyway, I think it's a looker in a way. You know, you know it depends on your luck concerning the. The beauty of the wood. I have two tell like uh, this, and I have a uh, the cabarita, which is equally good. I mean, I prefer the cabarita. Not the original, always bad. Bend with um, Gretsch. Uh, mm. Pickups, they are a little bit warmer and I don't know, but this is the classic sound I'm used to listening. Uh, Telecaster. Classic configuration, Cabernita is very different. At least the Telecaster one. The Telecaster one, the the Holly Benton, which has also tone knob while the original doesn't have it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.